Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to the garden. Here I am. This is this is what you all want. Here I don't know why, but I'm here in the yard. Uh, getting right into this in this update, I am going to be tilling up flower beds and I am going to be transplanting my ranunculus into them. No anemones this year, but lots and lots of ranunculus, so that's exciting. And uh, I have other kind of hardy annuals slash biennials like snapdragons and Icelandic poppies and a few other things that we'll get to here in a few. So the first thing I did, of course, is till up a bed. Now, ideally, this is not where I want to put this flower bed at all. Uh, the first thing I need to do is like mow down the grass, like give the grass a buzz cut because I just have this little tiny chiller. And uh, this is where the grass is shorter than it was in that giant hay field. So I've been kind of trying to adapt to my new surroundings and my lack of tractors. And I uh, use these tiny tools. But, you know, it's just what it is this, this season. I'll get it together eventually. So I'm using my tiny little tiller. This video is the, over the course of a few days. On this particular day where I'm wearing this camouflage jumpsuit like I'm a hunter. Ooh, cool. Uh, I don't, I don't even hunt. I love the animals. Anyway, it was very cold. The morning when I got there, it was 16 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, you know me, anytime it gets under about 68, I'm going to start complaining. Oh, I hate cold weather. I can't help it. It just makes my bones feel brittle. I don't have the body for, for cold weather. I don't know. Anyway, once I got this all tilled up, uh... I waited till it warmed up a little bit more because I was literally freezing, literally guys, literally. The spacing of the black plastic was about a 12 inch spacing. Now that is way too big for ranunculus. So, I, so what I actually did is I went back and I spaced the holes closer together. But as I was doing this, a dog came up growling and barking and charging at me aggressively. So I ran to my car and got in it and then the dog jumped all over the car and was growling at me and scratched up my car door and now I have all these scratches down the side of my car. Apparently it's the neighbor's dog and magically it doesn't have a collar. I just left for the day because I didn't feel like dealing with a vicious dog. So the next day I came back to my trays of my ranunculus and my snapdragons and I got my little torch out and did my holes and everything and thankfully no dogs showed up to try to attack me. I guess I'm gonna have to put a fence up. Right, that's just one more thing I gotta pay for. I gotta make a priority list of things I gotta pay for. I don't know where this money's coming from either. I hope you guys watch a lot of these videos. That's all I gotta say. But uh, this day that I did this was much nicer. The weather was much nicer. It was in the 50s so I can handle that crawling around on the ground and whatnot and getting these ranunculus in. This is actually a short row. This is about a 25 foot long row. I'm going to have to make another one of these rows to fit all the ranunculus and maybe even another one beyond that to fit the snapdragons and Icelandic poppies and some of the other hardy annuals that I have. That other hardy annual bed that I didn't cover with the calendula and stuff has already died. Whoops. Um, I'm still adjusting to things in the new garden. It's gonna take some trial and error like it always does. So there's no surprise there. It is what it is. Not gonna get discouraged. Just gonna keep going. Things will come together eventually. Uh, just starting this whole endeavor from scratch is like seriously surprisingly difficult. I don't know what I thought, you know. I mean, my backyard was very small and now it's not, so. Anyway, I got most of the ranunculus in here and I think they look fairly good. I don't have any water hookup here yet, so hopefully it will rain uh, sometime in the very near future because these things are going to be getting thirsty if they don't. And also in this video I did want to show y'all the, um, I bought these magnolia plugs. These are saucer magnolias. Uh, these are just cute little tree plugs that I was able to find online for six dollars a piece. I'm going to make another order from that website and uh, see how how that order is. And if it's all good, I'll let y'all know what website it is. And you can order some cheap tree plugs too if you want. I'm always looking for cheap plants. You know me. Um, 
I've really, really wanted Magnolia Treats for a really long time. So actually, this was really exciting for me because I love Magnolias and they're so expensive. If you've ever just searched around and shopped for them, they're so expensive, especially if you want more than one. I ended up getting seven of them because I have no self-control. And yeah, it's going to take a long time before they bloom and look beautiful, but eventually they will bloom and look beautiful. So that's the good thing. Last but certainly not least in this video I wanted to show you, I went ahead and I planted some peonies. These are some peonies that I ordered from the Facebook group, the uh, Small Scale Grower Facebook group. I really want to focus over the next couple of years on establishing a nice little peony garden because they're one of my favorite flowers. And yes, I'm saying peony. You don't have to correct me for the way I pronounce it. It's regional, okay? And you know what? I could call them like Fieferdunkles if I wanted to because this is my channel. And that's just, that's life, you know? Sometimes people pronounce things differently than you and it's, and you don't have to freak out. It's just, it's okay. Trust me, it's, it'll be okay. So uh, what I did is I went out into this field, this thick grass meadow field, and I took that lawnmower and I just buzzed, I just buzzed a little patch there. <laughs> And it looks so dumb and I know this is dumb and it's okay for you to cringe about this okay I know you're probably sitting there like I cannot believe I'm watching this woman do this this is a garden channel what is going on just it is what it is okay so I can't get electricity out to this spot for my electric tiller so I just took a pickaxe and I'm gonna lay down the black plastic I'm gonna burn a hole in the black plastic a big hole and then I'm going to pickaxe a planting spot for each peony. I'm going to stagger these about 18 inches apart. I have about 25 of these peonies. I'm going to stagger them 18 inches apart in kind of a zigzag pattern. And uh, I'm just going to dig a hole with a pickaxe and shove them on in there. And of course, uh, being careful not to bury them too deep. Try to keep them, you know, about two inches below the soil. Listen, I think this is going to work fine for now, and if it doesn't work, I'll just dig them up next year and redo it the right way, okay? Um, so many people take this very, very seriously, and that's okay, because a lot of people have farms, and I don't blame them for taking it seriously. But uh, sometimes you have to improvise and just do your best, and that's what I'm doing. Hopefully, I mean, go ahead and hit the down vote. It's okay. I don't, I don't mind. I know this is going to be really offensive to a lot of people just for the way that I pronounce peonies. Trust me, I've heard it a thousand times. Uh, that's really about it for this video, I think. Hopefully you've liked it. Um, hopefully there will be a video soon showing progress of the cleaning. I've been trying to clean, but it's so difficult to clean all this stuff up. Been making a lot of trips to the dump and a lot of trips to the Goodwill. Uh, as always, thank you so much for your continued support. It really, really means a lot to me, and I am so incredibly appreciative of that, so thank you. Uh, as always, links to the blog and to um, Patreon and Instagram and everything are down below. Feel free to follow me on Instagram. I post a lot of random stuff that is just, you know, not even related to gardening if you're into that. Um, I hope that you're having such a great day. You really deserve it. Um, you really do. I hope it's bright and sunny and I hope it's warm wherever you are. I will talk to y'all later. Bye!